I want to give you an analogy uh, so you can understand the role that nutrition and a healthy diet plays in your overall health. So if we were going to look at you like you are a vessel, this, this tank right here, you are designed to be full of nutrients and resources and vitamins and minerals and everything that you need to survive. And when you are, when you are full, you not only feel good, you not only feel healthy, you feel the fullness of joy. You feel fantastic. Now, what happens is, for various reasons, we get depleted. Um, it can be because of stress, not eating correctly, you go through that season, um, pregnancies really tax the body and, and deplete it. So what happens when we get depleted? We don't immediately get sick. We just say, you know what, I, don't, I may not feel that fullness of joy, but I feel healthy. Now, if we don't address those depletions at that point, then what happens is we start to say, you know what, I'm just, I'm fatigued. Again, no particular um, illness or sickness has, has happened. It's just, I'm just not feeling like myself. I'm feeling more fatigued. Now, if that doesn't get addressed, yes, we do start to see more symptoms emerge. Um, and this is where we get into the chronic fatigue, you know, um, and we start to see thinning hair, nail splitting. We start to have just more overall pain and lethargy. Now, if that doesn't get addressed and we're still getting depleted, well then, yes, we actually start to form disease processes. This is where your blood tests will finally say something is abnormal. We have to get that far down the tank before it will show up necessarily in a you know standard CBC chem panel. Now, if that doesn't get addressed, well, okay, it's kind of game over um, at that point. But there are a lot of steps on the way down that if we catch what is happening, this can be reversed. What are the things that deplete us? There's so many. I mean, one is chronic dieting over decades uh, that is not necessarily nutrient dense, it's just calorie restricted. Um, like I mentioned before, pregnancies, stress uses a ton of resources. When you are stressed, when your brain, your brain will siphon off minerals, nutrients, vitamins to, to manage, um, manage that mental chaos that's going on. Um, menopause, menopause really just whoosh. I run into so many women who they were doing fine, but then they hit menopause and whoosh, now they're having all these symptoms. It's just because of the, the resources that that process takes. The other thing I see a lot of is women who have had you know, one, two, multiple children, especially those who had difficult pregnancies, and they really didn't get a chance to replete. They went straight away into taking care of the kids and really didn't take care of themselves. So it wasn't just one day, but decades and decades and decades of depletion. And now here they are, they are, you know, their, their babies are in their teens, their twenties and their thirties, and now they're sick. What we have to do is find out how do we replenish you. We need to know exactly which vitamins, minerals, resources you need to fill your tank back up, and then we will see the disease processes reverse.